love music. Open at the Fillmore Theater in 2007, house first new Broadway musical since Parade a decade earlier. The world premiere of Love Music was on Broadway, and so many people noted it seemed like a tryout. The show told the story of Kurt Vile and Lottie Lania through Vile's songs and was as was suggested by their letters. Bertolt Brecht was also an important character. Hal had directed Lania in Cabaret, and now he was directing Donna Murphy to play Lania in Love Music, a fascinating event. Donna Murphy and Michael Cerveris gave iconic performances as Violet and Lania. Sadly, unlike the majority of Hal's musical, musicals, Love Music has rarely been performed since its Broadway premiere. Reviews were divided. The Daily News said Love Music was endlessly fascinating and that Manhattan Theatre Club deserves credit for showcasing something so unique. In a time when jukebox musicals were newly proliferating on Broadway, the Village Voice called Love Music, are you ready for it? Good vibrations. <laughs> and the New York Post ended its review with, it's a pity that Alfred Urey's loose page book is no Jersey Boys. <laughs> These reviews are strange. Yes. Viola and Lady's tumultuous relationship, they were married, divorced, then remarried, plus their groundbreaking artistic visions made for an interesting musical. Much like their collaboration, Love Music tried to combine the popular with the classical, high art with entertainment, German with American, the familiar with the obscure. Here to speak about and perform from Love Music, original Broadway cast member from the show, Eric Lieberman. <laughs> How low a god, Mike. Can I get a gobo? That'd be swell. <laughs> anyway, um, when I was uh, 16 years old, my life changed because my father took me for my birthday to see Kissing the Spider Woman. I felt so alone in my life, and I saw a little piece of it played out on stage, which gave me the faith to live. And my father, noting this change in me, and he walked out of the Broadhurst, said, now I know what your life is about. Well, I really wanted to work with Hal Prince, the man who made that possible. So, imagine my surprise when I'm in the Lada Lania competition for singers, and by the way, it's Lada Lania's birthday tonight. And uh, Hal was the judge. And he comes parading down aisle at the Eastman School of Music and he says, a thousand people will tell you you can't do it. And you've got to ignore those thousand. I think you're terrific. You can do anything. And he gave me my Broadway debut in Love Music. From then on, it was a friendship. It was a mentorship. Uh, my next role was as Charlie Kringis in a revival of Merrill as we rolled along. I called Hal for advice. He said, Charlie's a liberal socialist. smoke <laughs> <laughs> Next was Fiddler. And Hal got me my first directing job, helming the 50th anniversary Fiddler concert at Town Hall, which featured in its cast, the star of Kiss of the Spider Woman, Cheetah Rivera. Talk about a full circle moment. He came to see me in Minnie's Boys as Groucho Marx. The last time I worked with Hal, I walked into a room, and there's Danny Burstein, and there's Nina Arianda, and there's Tony Shaloub, and Hal said, I've been championing this musical for a long time. It's called The Band's Visit. There's only one song that's been written for this show, and it was written for Eric. This is Eric's song. It's called Answer Me. The man knew my soul. I'll always be grateful that I breathed first life into that song, thanks to Hal. And like many of you here, I found myself sitting opposite him in his office one day. That big window to his right, behind me, those incredibly intimidating photos of him with everyone you'd ever want to meet. Hal leaning back and holding forth, pointing and calling me pal. And I just sat there like a little guppy growing up before his eyes. 
while Hal seemed to be getting younger. He never lost touch with that kid inside, you know? And he never stopped giving a leg up to the next in line. And I've always wanted to ask him, why? Well, when you meet with a young man early in spring, pal, they court you with song and rhyme. They woo you with words and a clover ring. But if you examine the goods they bring, they've little to offer but the songs they sing and a plentiful waste of time of day. A plentiful waste of time. But it's a long, long while from May to December. And the days grow short when you reach September. When the autumn weather turns the leaves one hasn't got time for the waiting game. Now I've made a little money and I've had a little fame. Swell, still I haven't got time for the waiting game. And the days dwindle down to a per